Unreal Engine 4.18 introduces a few new changes to the Skylight system. One of those changes is the ability to now have a multi-bounce skylight. So for example, the skylight will emit its light, and now instead of just affecting the primary surface it hits, it can actually bounce, and it can scatter, and it can affect other lighting in more dramatic ways. Here you can see the scene on the realistic rendering example in 4.17.2. And as you can see, these are the default settings. And this is roughly what we get. This is just using the skylight. This is our single bounce. You can see it's a bit harsh. We get our primary light source coming in, but for example, we're not getting much bounce back from our objects on the floor or in our corners because the light's hitting and being absorbed. Now here's the same scene in 4.18. The only thing that's changed is we now have our number of skylighting bounces, and I have it set to the 10. By default, it comes to like five or seven or something like that. Well, actually, let's find out. Okay, by default, it's one. So I cranked it up to 10 because why not? But you can see the dramatic difference. We're actually getting bounce off of our diffuse items. Now, that's one of those things that is important to note. It's only really going to affect the diffuse items and based on how diffuse they are. The more diffuse the item, the more power it's going to give back on each bounce. And 10 may be overkill, but come on, this looks kind of cool. Now, this is primarily lit, if we look at this, through just the skylight. And by primarily lit, I mean that's it. The only light in the entire scene is a skylight. We have no point lights, directional lights, or anything like that, even a skylight. Not skylight, um, a directional light. We don't have, you know, like a sun. We just simply have a skylight affecting the entire scene, and then our bounce is as you can see here. So, 4.18, it affects static and stationary skylights, and it gives us a bounce in diffuse materials, and you can see the effect is quite dramatic between 4.17 without it and 4.18 with it. Now, another thing we have added for the skylight is static skylight directionality. So let me go ahead and open up this package in 4.17. And this is what it looks like using a static skylight and the directionality for the cube map. You'll notice we only have a skylight here. We'll go ahead and look and we can see it's this panorama here for the epic panorama. And this is the amount of light we basically get into our scene. It's really dark in our background. And we only really get this one section here really lit up because that's the way our cube map looks. Our cube map is giving light off in a specific direction with specific attributes. And this is our result. Now, if we open up the same project in 4.18, we are going to notice a difference. You're going to notice you're going to get a little bit more lighting coming in. So let's compare the two. We have 4.17 and we have 4.18. Now, it's not much of a difference. And that's because our actual source isn't really that much different. That is something to keep in mind. We have a pretty solid set of light coming in from a pretty solid direction on our cube map. But if we change it to something more different, I guess not more different would be it. Let's change it to our sunset cube map. We'll go ahead and change this one over to our sunset cube map as well. So let's go. Oh, that's the desert, not the sunset. Sunset cube map. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and rebuild these out. So let me go ahead and tell it to build. We're going to build this out, and you should see a pretty dramatic difference. The point of this change was when you have dramatic differences in your actual cube map. In this case, we can see we have lots of darks on the bottom. We have a specific point that's bright, our sunset. And then we have the more of the blues and the grays in the top for our sky. We get a much larger difference in our cube map rather than something that's brightly lit with some bright white buildings and some bright reflections. Due to that, our actual result is going to be much more dramatic. So this is going to finish building out. I'm going to switch back to my other one before we see it. I'm going to build out the 4.18 version. We'll go ahead and swap back, and we'll check out our 4.17 version. So this is our 4.17 version, and this is our result. And you can see it's pretty nice. Remember, this is only our light map. Light map, only our skylight that's giving us light. And it's giving us this nice orange like we might expect. But... Remember how I mentioned our cube map itself looks like this? Well, it's dark, we've got a nice focus, and we've got some darker colors, but lighter. This is pretty orange, pretty evenly. It's like there's just a single orange light being projected into the scene without much variance. Now, 4.18, here's the results from the same thing. You'll notice it's much more different, much more dramatic of a difference. We have the directionality of our skylight now being played into effect. 
we have our variance. We don't have, for example, any colors on the top. This is our 4.17, and this is our 4.18. The only difference is the version. I haven't changed any other settings. Our skylight is still the default settings. We've just changed the cube map, and this is what we end up getting. We get something that's much more directional. We have the directionality of our cube map now being taken into effect for our scene. And you, it looks like we have a low light coming into our window and affecting our scene. So those are the two major changes to our skylight functionality in 4.18. They come without having to change anything. It's primarily when you're using a skylight that is static or stationary. The uh, bouncing is for skylights that are static or stationary. The directionality is only for static skylights. So that is something to keep in mind. It comes defaulted in 4.18, and it's when you're using a skylight as probably your primary light source. This, of course, will be altered if you're using directional lighting and things like that.